Welcome to Pick 6. As always, I'm your host, Trish City. Clean shaven this week, as uh, my man Reed finally got a game right. But uh, let's meet Reed and the rest of our panel. I'm Reed. I got on the board this week, and hopefully I'll get two wins this week. I'm Marshall. Took a week off last week, but I'm coming back to defend my title. I'm Richard Seymour. I guarantee I go 6-0 and on my picks this week. Actually, I'm Brian. I'm from the fantasy football segment, but I'm back for a second straight week on uh, pick six. I'm Vince, and I'm hoping to uh, educate these guys this week with some correct picks. All right, thanks, guys. Let's get right to the games. Undefeated Saints. That's right, the undefeated Saints traveling to Miami this week to take on the Dolphins. Reed, what do you think? Undefeated season continues? I think it does, Rich. Uh, they really impressed me last week when they basically blew out the Giants. I picked the Giants, so um, I was not too happy about that pick. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the offense is rolling, the defense has played well up to this point, and Miami's not going to be the first team that beats them this season. New Orleans wins. New Orleans has always had a great offense, but this year they finally got a pretty good defense, too. They're the highest in the league in turnovers right now, and they're playing pretty well. It's, they, they didn't do great against the Giants, but they did well enough to beat them big. And I think this week is going to be no different. I think Miami, they have the Wildcat, sure, that's great. But Chad Henney's still a question mark. I think New Orleans wins big in this one. Yeah, the Dolphins are a decent team. I'll give them that. But the Saints proved last week that they are just too powerful. I don't think anybody on the Dolphins can cover Marcus Colston. I'm taking the Saints. I'm going to take the Dolphins this week because they're coming off a of bye week and they have the Wildcat, something that New Orleans might not be prepared for. Uh, plus, they had that big showdown with the Giants last week. They might have a little bit of hangover after a big victory like that. I'm going to take the Dolphins. Let's move on to the interesting matchup. The Falcons travel to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. It's, uh, I think you picked the Falcons to go to the Super Bowl. Uh, what do you think? They're keeping it rolling this week? This game is in Jerry World. Atlanta is the better team here. What we saw last week with them shutting down uh, former fantasy superstar Matt Forte, holding him to 30 uh, some yards rushing, uh, I think they do the same thing this week to Dallas. It's highly ranked rush offense, and they beat Dallas. Yeah, I took the Falcons last week. They beat the Bears. They look good. They helped me out. And I'm taking them again. Tony Romo is finally proving to the world why he wasn't a Division I quarterback, why he went undrafted. He has as many turnovers as he has passing touchdowns this season. I don't even think the emergence of the great Miles Austin can help him out. I'm taking uh, the Falcons. Falcons offense is really starting to click now. Matt Ryan, Tarati White is looking like a great matchup right there. And Michael Turner, he hasn't got a turn on yet, but he could this week. The Cowboys' defense isn't that great. They do have a good pass rush, but Atlanta does have a good pass protection. They've laid up zero sacks since week one. And like Brian said, the Tony Roma has just been massively inconsistent this year, and I think it's just going to continue against Atlanta. Atlanta wins. Also taking Atlanta, the, uh, the defense for Atlanta has been another team that's, or another unit that's impressed me this season, like New Orleans. Um, you know, they've played well up to this point. They shut down Cutler last week with two picks. Um, I look for them to continue that. Romo is prone to Aaron throws and look for him to have a, a bad day. Atlanta wins. All right, everyone going to Atlanta there. Good luck for the Cowboys, of course. <laughs> Let's move on. 49ers with a newly signed uh, Michael Crabtree set to make his debut this week. Frank Gore coming back. They traveled to take on the Texans. Reed, what do you think is happening in this one? Well, the signing of Michael Crabtree and his first game uh, is big news. It's not the biggest story in the game. The biggest story is Frank Gore coming back. He's going to provide this offense with balance, and um, I look for that to also help the defense, you know, keep them off the field for longer, um, and I think that they can shut down Houston's offense. They've played well at times. They've been spotty at other times, but a lot of it has been because the offense hasn't, hasn't given the, the opportunity to rest. Um, I'm taking San Francisco on this one. Like Reed, I also think that the bigger story is Gore coming back, not Crabtree getting his first play in time. However, Houston's D has really improved against the run. They started off terribly, but they've gotten a lot better. They shut down Cedric Benson last week. I think they can shut down Gore this week coming back off an injury. Also, Matt Schaub has been great. He has been thrown to Andre Johnson, Owen Daniels. He's just looked phenomenal. And despite the complete non-existence of their running game, which I found out because I started Steve Slayton in my fantasy team every single week, and every single week he completely failed for me, I think the Texans still can be do it with, just with Schaub playing well. Texans win. Yeah, I'm going to agree with Marshall on this one. I thought the 49ers have been overrated all year. They have a good coach with Mike Singletary, but they have yet to show that they can beat anybody outside their division. The Texans showed that they're for real last week against the Bengals. 
and uh, I think they're going to defeat the 49ers this week. I'm going to take Houston. Plain and simple, San Fran cannot keep up with Houston's high-octane offense. Matt Child has been one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. I think they keep this going and they win this game. Expect another big day from Andre Johnson, seeing that they couldn't cover Roddy White a few weeks ago, so they're not going to cover Andre Johnson. Hold Buse, the uh, San Fran secondary. Houston wins.